If I had to sum up the Vanabelle in two words, my best attempt would be casual exclusivity. The Vanabelle is everything you need in a small, intimate resort. Join me for the full tour, coming up. I wasn't originally supposed to stay at the Vanabelle. I had a different resort booked for these days, but after my amazing experience at the Naka Island Resort in Phuket, I was compelled to change my plans. Naka Island and Vanabelle are both part of Marriott's luxury collection hotels, and in Thailand at least, they sure know how to take a holiday to the next level. First up though, a bit about the location. If you'd like to jump ahead to the tour, skip to the time below. Today we're in Koh Samui in the southeast of Thailand, on the Gulf of Thailand. While it feels like a world away, it's a convenient flight from either Bangkok or Phuket. Koh Samui is a relatively small island, especially compared to the likes of Phuket or Bali, and has the vast majority of its resorts located to the northeast of this line, all surrounding the centrally located airport. Vanabel is no exception. Located on the southern edge of Choang Beach, Vanabel is a short 15-minute drive from the airport. The driveway is long and steep, and eventually will bring you to what seems like a very well-hidden oasis. At full volume, let's listen to just how serene it is here. One thing that I read about Vanabel that struck a chord is, quote, If you haven't heard of Vanabel prior, it's completely understandable, and it's also completely the point. Opened in December of 2012, Vanabelle is all about being secluded and in the middle of it at the same time. There are few properties that can achieve this. The first step of arrival at the property is washing your hands in rose water to heighten your senses. The architecture in the main arrivals area is distinctly Thai, but also distinctly understated. The view of the sea far below is meant to be the true design masterpiece. Vanabel translates to beautiful forest and is meant to evoke the mythical Himavanta forest. Throughout the property, you'll see subtle nods to this as well as a lot of the mythical creatures that live there. Most luxury collection hotels set themselves apart with a very specific story that dictates your experience at the property. These stories, in my experience, can be anywhere from subtle to tacky, but Vanabel has found a nice balance. With just 80 suites and villas spread out over the steep hillside, the resort never feels crowded or big box in any way. This is the pavilion where check-in takes place. I booked my stay with Amex Fine Hotels and Resorts, which among other benefits included an upgrade subject to availability and a $100 property credit. When checking in, I was asked how my recent stay at the Naka Island Resort was, and they told me I was getting quite the upgrade today. Once I sat down, I was given what is likely the most beautiful welcome drink that I received on this trip. After finishing the Butterfly PT, I was encouraged to set the base afloat in the Elephant Pond to ensure that my stay would be memorable. All suites and villas here have at the very least their own plunge pool attached to their balcony. I originally booked a Jungle View standard room, but was upgraded to one of three Vanabelle suites. 
These rooms are around twice the size and thrice the price and feature the best views at the resort. As the previous guest had just checked out, I needed to wait around 90 minutes to access the room, but that wasn't a problem. The grounds of the resort are lived in but manicured and make really good use of black. That's not so common to see. Many cultures in Southeast Asia rarely use the color in their designs as it can be seen as bad luck. In my mind, Bali is the only place jumping out that uses it frequently in resort designs. But here's why I enjoy it so much. First off, I understand the draw to crisp white surfaces to give a modern and fresh feel. But in tropical humidity, unless you're prepared to repaint everything six times a year, it's going to look really tired really quickly. Second, I think the black walls that Vanabelle uses on the base of their guest rooms gives a really lush, cozy, and a bit of a mysterious quality that's hard to come by. Right now, we're one level below the reception pavilion, and we're going to take a walk down to the beach to have lunch while we're waiting for the room. This is the most convenient way to get down there, but there are also buggies available to take you anywhere on the property if needed. The stairs leave us in the middle of the pool bar, with the Penali restaurant on the left and the primary pool to the right. The pool has wonderful views of the ocean, and I really appreciate that they kept the green lawn to contrast with all the shades of blue. There are also plenty of chairs and chaises set up around the pool and on the beach itself. I'm not sure about you, but I get a distinctly French Riviera beach club vibe from the area. Service, whether on the beach or at the pool, was spot on. There were not a plethora of staff on hand like some other resorts I've seen in Thailand, but they hustled with smiles and were consistently proactive. This stretch of beach is known to be one of Samoy's most pristine, and it is beautiful. I do need to ding them for a few bits of rubbish though, but this is a public beach and overall, it's clearly well cared for. During my stay, Penali was open for lunch and offered a mix of Western and Thai dishes that could also be ordered at the beach or by the pool. I myself had a wrap for lunch, which more than hit the spot, but then again, I can't imagine anything not hitting the spot with this view. A 
A bit of a walk past the pool is a deck that I assume that they reserve for special parties or cocktail hours or something like that. Behind, tucked away above it though, is a hidden fountain. Now, time to take a look at my room. My suite was located in Vanna or Building 5 and occupied the upper floor. One of the perks of the Vannabelle suite is that there's no attached neighbors on either side of you. Up the stairs is a small outdoor patio with a table and chairs. To be honest though, once you see the view from the other side, you, like me, will question who would actually sit here. Entering the room, we're in the middle of the wet bar and workspace area, with the elevated bed to the left and the super oversized bathroom to the right. Relatively speaking, the interior of the suite was the low point of the resort for me, for four specific reasons. First, a personal pet peeve of mine is having outdoor furniture inside, which is exactly what they've done with the sofa here. Second, the colors in general. The resort is 10 years old, and while it's in pristine condition, the colors make it feel drab and dated inside. While I appreciate the Bluetooth speaker and the outlets next to the bed, the third thing on the list are these oh-so-strange pendant lights that I believe are in every category of room. I just don't understand them. The wrap around the wire just doesn't fit and it makes it feel clunky and old. I do love a good workspace though. And the fourth thing is the room layout in general, which I'll get back to in a moment. The mini bar area is very well stocked with glass bottles of water, Nespresso pods, plus an assortment of premium teas, and a fully stocked refrigerator and wine cooler. The bathroom comes stocked with Panpuri amenities, one of my favorite brands in Thailand actually, and I've not seen them at a hotel before. At Vanabelle, they have an exclusive jasmine and mint fragrance, which you can also buy on the property. Back to that fourth thing, 
it's mainly because of all of this extra space in the bathroom. While this suite is double the size of standard ones, the bedroom and living area is essentially the same size as all the other suites, just with a massive bathroom tacked on. I'm sure some will appreciate it, I just imagine a larger living space would be a better use. Outside though, you won't hear me complain about a single thing. Again, love the dark colors and this view is spectacular. Outside we have two comfortable loungers, a whirlpool bathtub, table and chairs, and a double sized chaise. I wouldn't mind being locked up here for a while. Most resorts in Samoy have sunrise views, but the sunset ambiance beachside is always something worth witnessing. For dinner, I went to Kiri, the property's signature restaurant just underneath reception. The menu has a mix of western and Thai dishes that were exceptional along with fantastic service. I couldn't decide on an appetizer, so I tried the crab cakes and the Thai style fish cakes. Both really good, but the star was the crispy pork belly curry. Two things that I don't think I've heard put together before. The spice level was perfect, and it was out of this world good. Even if you're not staying at Vanabelle, I highly recommend stopping by Kiri one night for dinner. My schedules when I travel are normally pretty hectic. I'm up for sunrise every morning to watch it myself and also record it for you. So imagine my delight when I found out I didn't need to leave my room to see it today. I love the red sunrises on Samui and this morning's was especially beautiful. I always think about Bernard Williams' quote, It's impossible to watch a sunrise and not dream. The next morning, we're off to Kiri for breakfast, so I'll be able to give you a look at the unique interior design. Thank you. 
I was able to snag the table on the right for last night's dinner. Inside, the decor is firmly in the living room category, and I'm here for it. I prefer eating at a normal table with upright chairs, but I appreciate the eclectic mix of seating options. It's unique and gives you the sense that you're dining in a familiar home instead of an unknown restaurant. Breakfast starts at 7, which I'm not really a fan of, but to their credit, the buffet was set up 10 minutes before that and they were already serving guests before the clock struck 7. There's a nice buffet with some really high quality meats, hot dishes, breads, and others on offer. There's also a supplemental a la carte menu with some pretty tempting options on it. One thing to note, there are multiple breakfast options here. My rate included anything that I wanted, but there were specific menus for just the buffet, buffet plus continental, or buffet plus a la carte. I also love that they used fixtures styled as furniture to house the different stations throughout the restaurant. The bright morning light, which is really hot in Samoy, lit up the pool and lawn in beautiful golden hues. Before we wrap up this tour, let's take a quick look at the V Spa. The spa is compact, but features a full assortment of treatments and also uses Punpuri products. There's also a small fitness center, a very small one actually, but there were always guests inside, so we can use our imaginations. And that brings us to the flip-flop score. The room design, specifically the interior, I'm just not a fan of, but I can see how some might enjoy it, so I'm giving it a seven. Then we've got eight tens in a row, which I think you're gonna agree with. Finishing up with a nine for the beach, it was almost perfect. Overall, a fantastic 96 out of 100. Vanabel ticks all the boxes, and I'm so thankful that I changed my plans to stay here. Recommend it for singles, couples, and families alike. I hope you found this review helpful for your next trip. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for two new flight or hotel reviews every week.